channel and today I'll be tackling about my experience regarding my medical exam in St. Luke's Extension Clinic in Bokobo, Ermita, Manila last July 22 to 23, 2019. So without further ado, let's start. I, um, I'm pretty sure that I speak for everyone here when I say that uh, most of us did not get some sleep before the medical exam day itself because you just don't know what to expect. You, you, there's just so much anticipation to do and you just don't know what's going to happen. So I, I've experienced that too and I did not get much sleep the day before. It was like uh, I only had four hours I think. I tried to force it but I just can't. Uh, I can't keep it off my mind. So, the day itself, I left around 5 because I'm far from Manila and I arrived at around 7 and it was still basically closed somehow or almost open but the guard checked out my NVC letter, the confirmation page of your registration. I, I'm pretty sure I placed, um, I presented a uh, two by two photo, a US visa photo with my name behind it. I printed my name, yeah, I, I think I did that too. And my passport showed him my passport and also a photocopy of it. So that's, as far as I know, that's what I showed him, the guard. And don't forget your payment, okay? Don't forget the fee. Uh, 17,025 pesos. So by the time I entered, I was asked to proceed to USA reception to have my biometrics done and a few questions were asked from me and from my petitioner, my fiance. After that, I was asked to proceed to another floor and I'm pretty sure it was a uh, it was the nurse's station to get my blood pressure taken and we fell in line to get our height and weight and then I had my eye test. Yep, uh, I had my eye test and I passed that and then after that I think I had my x-ray and after the x-ray I had my blood test and my experience with this medical technologist wasn't very good because the blood spilled out from my arm over here, my antecubital um, area here, it kind of spilled out while I was walking after uh, my blood got extracted. So for me, that was a bad experience, but who knows, right? No one is perfect, and I'm not saying that all professionals are that incompetent. It's just that a little, a little extra careful next time, right? It would have been nice. So I came back to her to to have it um, fixed and uh, for some reason she was just talking to some other people and not even verifying my identification before she extracted my blood. So yeah, just watch out for those kinds of people because you never know. I mean, yeah. So enough with that. I forgave that person and let's just move on. After that, I... Um, had my uh, urine test, my urinalysis, there's no fecalysis, and then after that I was asked to proceed to the immunization interview, and while I was in line, I was asked to go back downstairs, I think, or back upstairs, I'm not really sure about the floors, but I was asked to go back to get another x-ray, and to me, I was uh, sort of nervous about it, I mean, why would I get a second x-ray, right? Um, but uh, it turns out it was it was normal. Maybe they just found something from the first X-ray and they just want to verify on the second take. But um, it went fine. Um, and when I went back to the immunization interview, I filled out a, fo a few forms. And you need to bring your vaccination record with you if you have any from before because I did not bring mine. I mean, I don't, I don't have it, so I, I really can't take it with me. So I was just honest the entire interview, and um, 
After that, I was asked to proceed to the doctor, I think, that would do your physical examination. So, privacy was observed there, obviously. And you need to take off all your clothes except for your underwear. And they will check you out, all of you. Um, for me, I had a female doctor, and it was just a real quick physical examination. I suggest that you just stay honest with them when they ask you questions. Um, I know some people think they're just trying to rip you off or something, but, you know, let's face it, they're just also trying to look after us, and it's for our own good, especially when... We travel to the United States, so they're just taking extra precautions. Um, uh, this isn't my experience, but I've heard from some people that if you had uh, been suggested to undergo sputum, it would take months. If you have um, any sort of symptom or history of some sort, they would that they would see in you, they would try to give you a psychiatric evaluation and that would cost around 2000 I think, but it would have to be rescheduled, I, um, I'm not so sure. And another would be if they see something, you know, infectious, if you, do, if you have some infection in your urine or in your blood, you would be getting some treatment, antibiotic treatment, I think. So, I don't know if it applies to everyone, but, you know, it's case-to-case -case basis. I'm just giving you an idea, a heads up. I, yeah. So, after that doctor checked me out, um, I proceed to another floor, and I was given back my receipt with a schedule for the next day which is 9 a.m. so I came back I was uh, a little bit late when I came back but yeah when I came back I just had my vaccines like four of them two on the left arm and two on the right arm which means everything went normal I, I think so I I am not sure what the vaccines were, but I think I had um, MMR vaccine, varicella for chickenpox, flu vaccine I think, and a Tdap Dtap vaccine. So I've had those four all together, and uh, I have to be honest here, it really made me feel sick for almost a month made me feel weak and really heavy after it and I just want to inform you guys that it's normal to feel this way so you don't uh, have to be scared when you do. So make sure that weeks or months before your medical exam you are, you know, keeping yourself healthy as much as you possibly can so, you know, you can fight it off much easier because yeah, it varies. So, that was my experience. Um, after that, the vaccination, I was asked to go downstairs to the reception area to wait for my turn. I waited for like three hours and I'm, I'm pretty sure this doesn't happen to everyone, but... Or, or some people had it shorter, some people had it longer than three hours, but I did wait for three hours just for my documents to be released. And you will be receiving your CD, your x-ray CD. You don't need to bring that in your interview. You don't need to bring that, I mean, you don't need to present that or show that or submit that in the customs in the U.S. Um, and then you... Uh, you will receive a brown envelope that says do not open, so don't open that. And you will give that to the pre-screening part of your U.S. Embassy interview. Uh, to me, I experienced it. I gave it to a Filipina 
console during my pre-screening. So I was also given my vaccination documentation worksheet and I was told that it would be required once I get my work permit or once I receive my employment authorization in the US. So you would need that, make photocopies out of it, just make sure to duplicate them and keep them safe in your house, your documents, all of it. Make sure to just keep them safe and secured. So after that, I went home. So that wraps up this video and that ends my experience for the medical exam. I hope you find this helpful. If you did find this helpful, please leave us a, a like. Uh, please click on the thumbs up if you like the video and just click on the notification bell button if you want to be notified for our next upcoming vlogs. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye.